Okay, mom, mom, I gotta go. You no, know, the film crew's here, I promise. I promise, no cursing this time. Okay, love you too. Hey. Welcome to AEM, Kirk Miller here again, and I am excited to show you around our facility. So you're actually gonna see everything. Everything that we're doing, you all know that we're working our way through the EV market segment, and we have a lot of triple secret, we call it skunk works internally, um, to an area that's actually closed off even to our own company. The engineers work behind a closed area. Uh, you're gonna get to see that. We're gonna start upstairs. Another beautiful day here in Southern Cal. It's COVID. Mask up. You're gonna see a lot of borders up. Again, this is mandates in place. Uh, it's not what we like, but it is what it is. I can still show you around. So in this section, we have sales and technical sales. We have portions of customer service. Behind me, we have tech support. You'll see a lot of open desks. People are up and down from their desk into the shop. This entire section here, all these cubicles, engineering, can label everyone, but the fact is this is Nate. He's a manager of applications. You have to be quiet in this area because he scares very easily. What are you doing? For what? All right, cool. BMS, battery management system. This is the office, Scott Ormish, director of engineering. When people aren't in their offices, that means they're out doing things. It's exciting to, for, to, for me to walk around and see empty desks. It means everyone's out in the shop. I don't even need an intro here. This is Greg Newworth, president, CEO, and he's at his desk, as he, as he should be. <laughs> I'm busy. We need more budget. Can I help you? <laughs> Another empty desk. So this is where Maria Garcia sits, and she is the gatekeeper. You notice I said we're upstairs. This is where everyone has to pass, and she keeps everyone in check to make sure the right people are going to the right areas of the building. This area should be self-explanatory. This is our conference room. Because of our sales, marketing, research and development with the engineers, and then a lot of our hands-on activities in the shop, we come up with more ideas as we're creating new products for our customers, or legacy products. We come up with ways to improve them. So I'm gonna head downstairs. We're gonna walk through purchasing. There's some more marketing. Uh, our founder's office down there is JC and then we're gonna walk into the R&D area. Office for Lawson Malika, Director of Marketing and Public Relations, actually the man holding the gimbal. Uh, again, another empty office, which is good. This is JC's office, John Consiality, the founder of AEM, since 1987. Uh, he's out in the shop where he should be creating new products. Travis, T-Bone, Purchasing, Wizard, Andrew Flores, uh, this is Operations. This is the man who makes everything happen. We create it and we have ideas and stuff needs to happen in the shop at the engineering level, at purchasing level, this is the man who coordinates everything. So if you're getting products from us, you got him to thank. Christina Vega, she manages what's going on out here. Behind me, 3D printer. There's a lot of different test benches as we walk through. You've seen some of them in some of the videos. You're gonna see a little bit more as we go. Um, this is a really cool area, and in this, there's a project car, but there's also several vehicles that we're working with for product development, for training, seminars that we do with the Infinity and soon with the EV product line. Well, I just want to show you this thing. This is a, a Stude Champion. Uh, this is JC's car. This is the founder of the car. It's been a long-term project for him and absolute passion project um, because I, I'd be underestimated if I, if I said he had 100,000 hours in this thing. It's man hours. Uh, it's a twin turbo LSX. It's up around 14, 1800 horsepower. I don't even know, dual fuel. If you know JC at all, people refer to him as a mad scientist and a, a lot of that is displayed right here. It's a Corvette chassis underneath, drivetrain, electric power steering, Lexus LSF interior, uh, power everything, can everything, and just the, even the, the, the intake manifolds have been custom cast with CFD to make sure he has equal cylinder loading for air load. So it's just, it's insanity, but I think it's a great example of what he's capable of. You see a lot of stuff out because there's a lot going on. Uh, I mentioned the people being out in the shop, they're moving as the camera's coming through, so there would normally be people here as well. Uh, a lot of prototyping done in this section, same here. A reminder, you'll see some of the equipment you'll see in other videos in the background. When you're developing products um, that, that either didn't exist before or you're trying to improve on products that were in existence, you have to come up with ways to validate uh, what you've accomplished. So behind me is a, is, a, is a fuel validation bench where we do all sorts of validation on with regards to flow performance, pressure relief valve recovery, you know, and such, and also endurance testing. We can do that here as well. And everything is monitored. We monitor, We look at counterfeit products, we've got our competitors' products, and we look at ours and we see how we stack up on everything. 
I mentioned uh, one of the earlier videos with the pins gower. You guys have seen the rust bus. We're gonna touch, you know, we're gonna be walking by those in the background, but that's all stuff that we're doing. In my video with the pins gower, I did commit to being rolling. I said, hopefully by Thanksgiving. I missed that. I apologize, but we have more coming. Um, some of the, be the benches, again, there's, everything's on wheels because it moves around a lot, but these are some of our water meth test benches that we use. One of the other projects uh, you guys may have seen, uh, this is the Rust Bus from EV West. Uh, we're installing our, our VCU, our PDU, our keypad, our dash, basically all of our products on a Hyper 9 power setup. Um, so the, I, I touched on EV a couple times and uh, the area that I referred to earlier in the video is a in-house skunk works. This is completely boarded off even from AEM employees. Visitors don't come in. Um, I'm gonna take you behind these walls. And here we are. So it's not real noisy because it's all electric and you don't want noise when you're working with high voltage electric motors. We have several on the ground. These are We have another package, which I won't say whose it is or what it's for. We just got the official warning. We're and this is 600 volts, so step cautiously. This is another test bench. This is mama This is where, where it kind of all started. You know, at AEM is a lot of fun. This is the stuff that I get to work with and I get to and all the guys here make this, this, is, this is what makes it possible. This is what makes it happen. So that's this section. So on to the next section. Okay, so this is another one of our R&D tools, I'll say. You'll notice the logo. It's not because he's an employee. This is a Mustang, but it's Tesla powered. We have hardware that is at the tail end of development that's gonna be launching at the beginning of 21, 2021, that is Tesla hardware that is a board that goes in and allows you to have total control over a Tesla drivetrain. This is the LDU, the large drive unit only right now. We've got the SDU small drive unit right behind this. What's really critical here is that this hardware in conjunction with our VCU gives you total control of the Tesla powertrain. This is really exciting. So when you talk about motorsport features or power uh, map switching or, or regen, you know, all these different features that you have, especially around the motorsport stuff, we're gonna give you that control with this hardware. This has not been announced publicly. So this is the first time we're admitting to all this. A lot of the stuff that you saw right there does revolve around that development. This vehicle is one of the tools. It's Tesla powered. It's got a Tesla drivetrain in the rear, battery packs up in the front and through the tunnel. And it is a really stunning conversion that we picked up from a local here in Southern California that allows us to integrate our products, our BMS, our Tesla hardware, and then our VCU and our PDU and our keypad and our dash again. A couple of track day bikes. There's an R6 and an R1, so we do get out and play on our motorcycles as well. So this section is distribution. Every, every section I go to, nothing is taken lightly. We have experts in every areas. This is why we can get products turned around same day, next day. You know, a lot of manufacturers have, a, you know, up to a seven day lead time before product is shipped. We try to get things out same day. Next day, really large orders might take a little bit more because we can actually build to fill the order. Uh, and then the man who's responsible for that is Juan. <laughs> so Juan's responsible for you know, leading this team, making sure that everything gets packed up and where it needs to go. This is part of another extension of the R&D section, uh, research and development area where the engineers are working on the Tesla drivetrain. We've got equipment to my right. We've got all sorts of test equipment here. You'll notice there's a, a bright colored stand underneath the drivetrain. Uh, we have a dyno out behind me. And when this is in motion, there's usually three or four engineers right here, all monitoring and analyzing what we can do to actually improve on what's already a phenomenal, phenomenal uh, drivetrain package. Every product that we manufacture is tested at the point of manufacturing and then it's tested again here. There's one man who's sort of the hub of all this. His name is Eddie. Eddie manages all the products that come in. Um, you can see some products are laid out right now, uh, some billet parts. Uh, for inspection, but you see behind him, there's test stands for harnessing. Eddie is a, a, a phenomenal dancer and singer. Next section, it's the warehouse. This is where the products wind up. Uh, we've got a caged area that is high value. We also have pallet racks and pallet racks and pallet racks of higher velocity products. Next section. So this is a part of our marketing department. Another EV. Uh, this is from Napoleon Motorsports. Some of you may have seen this out at Formula Drift a few years ago. 
Uh, they didn't let it run because they didn't know what to do about an EV competing, you know, in the event of something bad happening. Uh, this is Tesla powered, and this will be getting a full revamp of all AEM products. Behind this area, there's, you've seen a lot of our, our how-to videos. We have a little studio behind that. It's actually a shipping container that's been modified, soundproofed with climate control and sound control. So we can go in there and give you great tech videos. And that's where uh, Hunter and Lawson and many of the other engineers join in uh, to work in that area. So our, our goal is always to keep at least, you know, anywhere from six to nine months of components on the shelf that allows us to keep the pipeline filled with finished goods. So a lot of what you're seeing here in the upper racks and higher skids are high velocity products. A lot of the lower are components so they can keep this pipeline filled with uh, finished good products. Okay, so on to some more cool stuff. This is assembly, and again, another one of my favorite sections. I got a lot of favorites. Pretty cool throughout the facility, whether you've noticed that or not. Our vision statement and our values. These are practiced every day. As you notice in this video, I'm, I'm taking you on a tour of what's going on here. I'm not selling you anything. I'm just showing you what we do and how we do it. So this is a climate controlled section. So without further ado, we're gonna roll into assembly. This is um, uh, the creation of products, and this is where everything comes together and winds up in a box and becomes from components to finished goods. There is test stand after test stand after test stand. So we talked about Eddie being out of QC and receiving, but we also have heavy layers of QC, so that way when the components come together, they work in symphony and as promised. So I'm gonna walk through here. Test stands, test stands, test stands, test stands, and more. So in this section, looks like we're building some Series 2s, yes. Series 2 ECUs, it's all done right here. And this is a section that not only is it my favorite, but I'm most proud of. The engineering, the QC, the assembly work, all pays dividends. And what that means is I am standing in the warranty and repairs department. We sell thousands of individual products every month that go into the field, going into a motorsport environment, off-road environment. And for the products to hold up and not break down and show up right here, to me, that's a testament to the, again, the engineering, the QC, the assembly, all pays off for the user, the racer, and the show guy, and the person using our gauges in their street cars, uh, because as we know, a lot of the factory dashes don't give you a lot of information anymore. There's a bunch of lights that come on. But if you wanna know your air fuel or your boost pressure and what, how the engine's actually performing, you can use our gauges in a street vehicle. The motorsport side, as mentioned, as harsh as they come, the products stay in the field. That's a part that I, why I say this is my favorite, why I'm most proud of. This little tiny department, everything else that, that has been done up front pays off right here. All right, next section. That's JC. So uh, in a lot of cases, the founders aren't, you know, especially a company that's 33 years old, you'll see uh, founders sitting at a big desk. Uh, not in this case, this is JC. This is what he loves to do. Who knows what he's creating? What do you want to show me, JC? My yeah, I got to show this. Come here. It, I mean, this is one of the beauties of this facility. So we had launched the V3 injector nozzle and unbeknownst to us, a lot of people were actually taking the push pull out and swapping it out for a dash four AN fitting. I talked to JC about it last night and right now at 12 o'clock in the afternoon, I have a prototype first article fresh off the lathe from JC. So, you know, not only do we get to see our founder hard at work, but actually, you know, bringing an idea to fruition within 24 hours. How? That's crazy. Okay, everybody, so that's a wrap. I really hope you enjoyed the, the walkthrough. I also want to say a special thanks for taking us along for the ride. You know, you, you, a lot of you already have our products and use them, and we really appreciate that. There's no plug at the end of this. If you haven't tried our products, you might want to, because a lot of other people are having great success with it. So uh, thanks again. This is somewhat anticlimactic standing out here with all that's going on inside. But uh, again, thank you so much for watching. See you soon.